coming up on Mount News this morning. Families in one of Eastern Kentucky County attend a celebration as they prepare for the upcoming school year. And a special event revs up its engines to help the families of the officers who died in a Floyd County shooting. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Six thirty on this Monday morning. I'm Dakota Makris. Good morning to you. And I have some sad news. I'm only working Monday and Tuesday this week, and then I'm off. The rest of the week. Did you just say woo? <laughs> See, Cameron, I was nice enough to work. I was just trying Monday, to be nice. Tuesday. I was just trying to be nice. You better. <laughs> I can't believe you said woo. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull my PTO and just you know I'm just going to stay. Just I'm just going to stay. Yeah. Just with you. Yeah. Just to just annoy you the rest of the week. Sounds good to me, Dakota. But if you stay here, yeah. Just remember, you got to keep the umbrella because we are looking at plenty of rain chances over the next few days. Take like a live look this morning over at I-75 in Mount Vernon. We are looking at cloudy conditions at this location over in Rock Castle County and same story out the front door at WYMT. Plenty of cloud cover this morning. Temperatures are mild as you step out the door. Upper 70s, 78 for Jackson, 79 over in Somerset, 77 a popular number for London, Hazard, Prestonsburg and Pikeville. Up on Pinpoint Doppler, maybe a few sprinkles near and west of I-75, but most of us aren't dry this morning. In Dakota, if you have any plans to go out for a jog after the show, it's going to be mild, it's going to be muggy, so be sure to take those precautions if you head out the door. Dakota. All right, Cameron, thank you. Well, the Laurel County Sheriff's Office is asking for help in finding a missing man. Police say 61-year-old Billy Rogers was last seen on Tuesday, July 19th around 2 a.m. near Tuttle Road, which is nine miles south of London. If anyone has any information on where he might be, you are asked to call the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. Kentucky State Police is investi are investigating the death of an elderly woman in Jackson County. Police say they received a call shortly after 8.30 Saturday night about a dead woman found inside of a home on Rice Hill Road in McKee. Troopers say 83-year-old Mary King Abrams possibly suffered fatal injuries from a puncture wound. They say foul play is suspected. An autopsy is scheduled at the medical examiner's office in Frankfurt. If you have information regarding this investigation, you can call KSP Post 7 using the number you see on your screen. A man in Pulaski County has been charged with murder after a shooting Saturday morning. Police arrested 57-year-old John Stacy from Somerset in connection with the murder. The victim and motive of the shooting are not known at this time. Pulaski County Sheriff's Office officials say Stacy was also separately charged with attempted murder and kidnapping after entering a woman's house with a gun and threatening her early Saturday morning. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office is continuing the investigation. Huntington Police say they found two minors shot Friday night. The shooting happened near Perry Road. Police say their injuries were non-life threatening, though one victim suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Police first responded to the area around 9 o'clock Friday night when the when they found the two. They were taken to a nearby hospital to be treated. There's no information from police on why, how, and where the two were shot, though they were found in separate locations near each other. One neighbor saw all of the police cars pull up right outside of his home. No, that's surprising. And because I was just came in from outside, and uh, I didn't hear not one gunshot. Police say there are still no suspects in custody related to the shooting. Officials with the Wise County Sheriff's Office are warning people of a new phone scam. Police say the scammer claims they are an employee at a local law enforcement agency. The scammer tells the person they have missed a court date and says the person can handle the situation by making an immediate payment over the phone. If you receive this scam call, officials said you should hang up immediately and call the Wise County Sheriff's Office. Back here in the Commonwealth, someone broke into the Hazard Perry County Little League concession stand early Sunday morning. Security cameras caught a man breaking through a window and then stealing property from the building. President of the Hazard Perry County Little League Jody Maggard immediately called the police and posted the security footage on Facebook. Maggard says he does not understand why someone would steal from kids, especially from a classic activity. It's one of the biggest activities, I think, um, maybe the whole year in our county for our kids to get involved in. Uh, it's good, competitive, clean. 
Maggard says the Little League is offering a $500 reward for anyone that can identify the suspect. Anyone with a tip is encouraged to call the Hazard Police Department. First responders in Pikeville got soaked this past weekend, and it was all for a good cause. Pikeville police and firefighters got into the dunk a first responder dunking booth throughout Saturday and Sunday to raise money for Christmas with the first responder. In the multi-agency effort, officials say $2,600 was raised during the two days, which will help 11 more local kids have a great Christmas this coming December. Families in Prestonsburg came out during the weekend to celebrate and prepare for the upcoming school year. The city of Prestonsburg back to school bash kicked off Saturday night around 6 p.m. And officials say hundreds of families flooded Archer Park for free toiletries, inflatables, food and more. Prestonsburg Elementary School Family and Youth Services uh, Centered uh, Rebel Reynolds says this was a very important event in Floyd County. This is one of the most important events that we do in our county the entire year. It's a way to let our parents know we're here to support you. We're here for you. Our community's here for you. And I know our families need this, and it's very evident when you look around and see how many people are standing in line for this service today. Reynolds added that she estimated more than 1,000 people came out to the event. A car show in Prestonsburg was held during the weekend to honor Floyd County's fallen and injured heroes. Our Jordan Mullins has more from the Car Guys for Life benefit cruise in and how the event is helping and remember the fallen and injured officers following the deadly shooting in Allen last month. Folks in Prestonsburg came out for a car show Saturday evening, revving their engines for a cause. We have a uh, cruise in here in Prestonsburg on the fourth Saturday of every month. And we talked about it and we figured this cruise in we would make as a benefit to try to help the, uh, the fallen officers and first responders. Showing their support for the families of the fallen and injured officers. It just shows the, 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 the backbone, the fortitude and the, you know, just the compassion that people here in East Kentucky have for one another that when something happens that people step up and really get out to support uh, the, your, your fellow citizens. I mean, we're all one big family here, and that's the way that, you know, we always look at it. And providing the community with a bit of high-octane therapy in a time of struggle. Cars for me is like therapy. You know, some people, they drown themselves in work. Some people watch movies. Some people just go out and piddle with wood. Right here is what I do. While also backing the blue. It means a lot. It's, it's overwhelming to, to us just to support it. And we want to thank everyone that's, that's you know, come out in the, the weeks past and I'm sure to the weeks to come and it's here today. Coming together for fellowship, food, music, and in remembrance. In Prestonsburg, Jordan Mullins, WYMT Mountain News. Event organizer Sean Woods also says he wants to thank those who donated their time to come out and support the cause. Exploring through the mountains on wheels, Hazard and Perry County Tourism hosted a Jeep run at Perry Park on Saturday. Anyone with a Jeep had uh, the chance to ride through trails either on difficult or smooth terrain. Vice President of the Trail Hazard Jeep Club Bill Lyons says it was an opportunity for people to see what the area offers. It's a perfect opportunity to come into this region, uh, see what the area has to offer, uh, you know, uh, meet and make friends and contacts in the area, uh, see, uh, see what Hazard has to offer as far as uh, the, the Perry County Hazard area. Jeep Club members hope the turnout also brought more people to the North Fork Music Festival and downtown Hazard this past weekend. People with Lexington's Park at Drive-In Restaurant interacted with customers one last time. They hosted their Park at memorabilia sale during the weekend. Enthusiastic buyers lined up for hours to get a piece of iconic dine-in restaurant. Uh, the restaurant suddenly closed its doors last month after 71 years in business. Items for sale included vintage furniture, menus, and signs. A buyer mentions the overall atmosphere he experienced during the emotional sale. There's people off every county. I live in Mount Sterling, and uh, there's people that come from all over the state to this auction. It's supposed to be an auction, but I don't, I don't know what it is. It's a little pricey here, but what kind of price can you put on history? Another person mentioned they are working to get a historical roadside marker put on the property and feels certain they have a buyer who will save the iconic Neon Park at sign, which has stood the test of time for all these years. Coming up on 640 on this Monday morning, here is a live look outside the Buffalo Mountain camera 
All is quiet. Looking at a cloudy sky, though. Current temperature is sitting at 77 degrees, 78 for Jackson, 76 in Pikeville, 75 for Logan, and 79 this morning in Somerset. It is very toasty as you step out the door and check out these dew points. Middle 70s for Somerset and Monticello. It is very sticky as you walk out the door. Definitely feeling tropical across the mountains this morning on your Monday. Up on Pinpoint Doppler, most of us are quiet right now. We do have a few sprinkles possibly near I-75, but overall we are quiet this morning. That is going to change though, especially towards this afternoon and evening. Temperatures today topping out in the middle and upper 80s. Watching out for more scattered showers and storms later on today. So be sure to pack the rain gear before you head out the door. Dakota. All right, Cameron, thank you so much. Still to come here on Mountain News this morning, the family of the gunman accused in a mass shooting at an Indiana mall expressed their condolences to the families of the victims.